Oh my gosh. I have been sweating since May. Hello there, Caroline or Miss B Overseas. I am here today to talk to you about the books that I plan to read in the month of September. Before we talk about the books that I am going to read in September, let's just chat really quickly about my life in the month of September, specifically how I don't know what my life is going to look like. We are supposed to go back teaching students at the beginning of September. Our original plan was to do kind of a hybrid 50-50 model where some students would be at home and then some students would be in class. However, as of this very moment, that is kind of up in the air. By the time you see this video, I will have started school and I will know. However, at this exact second, I do not know. So this just leaves a lot of things to uncertainty and leaves a, a lot of circumstances beyond my control. One of the things that I can control in the month of September is what I read and how much I read. So I have created a, what I believe to be very manageable TBR. It's just four books and they are books that I am looking forward to. So let me go ahead and tell you about them. First book that I hope to read is It Came From The Sky by Chelsea Sidoti. I am very much looking forward to this one. This is a young adult book and from my understanding, it centers around one or two teenage boys who conduct this science experiment in their small town and while executing the science experiment, it goes terribly wrong. So in order to cover up their wrongdoings, they basically convince everyone living in this small town that their town is going to be invaded by aliens. Just from the synopsis, it gives me big um, When the Sky Fell on Splendor vibes, which I read earlier this year and I really loved. So I'm hoping the same for this one. I know what you're thinking. Caroline, you just said you were trying to keep your reading manageable and this book is huge. It is, however, it is told in um, mixed media in the vein of the Illuminae files where it's a lot of like emails and chat logs and like lab reports surrounding this science experiment gone wrong. And speaking of the Illuminae files, let me go ahead and tell you about the second book that I plan to read, which is a reread, and that is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Illuminae files trilogy. The first time when I read this trilogy, I read the physical mixed media copies. This time for my reread, I am listening via audiobook and I read this trilogy initially. Gemina was my favorite one out of the trilogy so I'm very much looking forward to experiencing this book again. Um, I don't really know that I need to give a summary of this book. If you don't know what Illuminae is about at this point, I think that you're like actively uninterested, but just in case you're not, um, Illuminae, like I said, is told in this mixed media format full of like files and chat logs and video surveillance, uh, and it centers around this attack and the characters uh, span different space stations and they're sort of communicating with each other and trying to solve the mystery of this attack. The reasons why I love this trilogy have nothing to do with anything that I just said in the synopsis. So if you listen to me say that and you're like, oh, that doesn't sound like anything I'd be interested in, I'm not interested in it either. I love it for different reasons. It's kind of like one of those if you know then you know kind of things. The next book that I hope to complete in the month of September is If You Come Softly by Jacqueline Woodson. This is a young adult contemporary that takes place at this very affluent, predominantly white private school 
and uh, I believe at the beginning of the book one of our main characters who is a young black teenage boy starts going to this school and he develops a relationship with a young Jewish girl who also attends the school and the story centers around the development of their relationship and also the ramifications of their relationship and what it means to be in that relationship while attending the school that they attend. I got this recommended to me from a friend who I was recommending Jacqueline Woodson's um, memoir in verse Brown Girl Dreaming to and uh, my friend uh, gave me this in exchange saying that it was beautifully written but very heartbreaking and I felt the same way when I was reading Brown Girl Dreaming so I'm very much looking forward to reading more of Jacqueline Woodson's writing. The fourth and final book that I hope to read this month is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. This is told from the perspective of a young boy who is autistic uh, and at the beginning of the story his neighbor's dog turns up dead in their front yard and he kind of makes it his personal mission to solve the mystery of how the dog was killed and in solving this mystery our main character actually ends up learning a lot more about himself particularly about his family. This book actually serves multiple purposes for me so if you don't care about any of that you can go ahead and fast forward or just leave. Uh, but the first purpose is that I'm in this kind of book club on Instagram and uh, our book club theme for this month is to read a banned book. And uh, this book has been banned several times for foul language. So that's one purpose. The second purpose is that this is a book that is listed on that 100 great reads for young adults scratch off poster that I have and I am trying to pick one book a month from this poster to try to get through my backlist of books. I do get to this book in the month of September. I will get to scratch it off my poster. And the third and arguably most exciting reason why I am choosing this book is that Kayla from Books and Lala and Paola from Paola Guerrero announced that they will be hosting a buzzword readathon at the end of September. And the whole point of this readathon is to read books with the word night in the title. Uh, I want to participate in this readathon so badly. Um, and I want to go like all in and pick multiple books with the word night in them and I want to maybe even vlog this readathon but as of right now remember my month of September is very unknown so I don't know what I will be capable of but one thing my one goal is to participate in this readathon by reading this one book with the word night in the title if you stuck around this long hi I love you and this is how much I love you. There is a bonus fun surprise. I'm actually going to pick my backlist read off the scratch off poster for the month of October on camera with you. So let's go ahead and do that. We have relocated for this bonus fun surprise because I wanted the poster to actually be in frame. If you're wondering why I'm choosing my pick from this poster for October now, it's because I want to make sure that I'm actually able to secure a copy of the book. I was trying to figure out the best way to choose a title and I thought that I could just you know, close my eyes and point. Um, but then I thought it might be fun to get some robots involved in this and have Siri choose my TBR. I'm hoping that whatever Siri chooses is uh, fairly short and sweet because I have a book in mind that I want to read in the month of October and it, it may take me the whole month. 
So I'm hoping whatever Siri chooses will not be too intimidating because the book that I have in mind is very intimidating. Okay, here we go. Hey Siri, could you pick a random number between one and 10? A random number between one and 10 is two. Two, okay. One, two. Could you pick another number between one and 10? The answer is six. Six, I'm gonna count down six, here we go. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is a backlist title that I know a lot about. I'm interested in it. I do love young adult dystopian. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I haven't read it yet, but theoretically, I will be reading it in the month of October. This is very exciting. Okay. Thank you so much if you have stuck around this long. You now know what I am reading in the month of September, as well as one book, possibly one of only two books that I am reading in October. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.